from earlier. I think got him, uh, he had a nest ditto on, on stage earlier and kind of huh. put the beat down on. Looking very solid overall as a uh, nest player. And of course, you got Sweet Tea, the Pokemon trainer mainstay. Starting out with Squirtle, seeing if you get the wheels turned in. And of course, Ness looking so good in this game. PK Fire does so much damage. It's crazy. That's apparently a frame perfect combo, actually. Yeah, no, Ness is insane. I've had the pleasure and the fear of playing against Austin in uh, Dallas. Right. Uh, Ness can just hit every button he wants, and then down smash, and then neutral air, and then PK Fire, and then Magnet is so, Magnet is so good, and I hate it. <laughs> coming out, coming out of the combo breaker right there. And it like stalls him in the air. It's just so good. Nice parry on the Razor Leaf. Yeah, stalling, you have to respect it too because like he can just nair or uh, back air so quickly out of it. Turn around to get back airs, it's insane. That's two times in a row, Sweet T did a pretty good job getting actually out of PK Fire and avoiding a follow up. But right now that kid, what, he hits it right back. <laughs> That's kind of a, a keep him honest moment. Just, you know, I can hit it back if I want to. Be yeah, right. Uh, be on notice, Sweet T. He must be a Padres fan because swinging like Manny Machado out here. <laughs> That's a, what a weird trade. What a weird trade. Anyway, the double nair going to send back off. And also it has a hitbox, so it can just like beat out projectile sometimes. Haha. -ha. And is this going to be an edge guard back air? Not the downer that I expected. Honestly, Kid probably could have uh, just gone for an air dodge because Ness's directional air dodge is the best in the game. But obviously that is a bit obvious, uh, especially for a Pokemon trainer with that, or Ivysaur specifically with access to that amazing down air. Yeah, trying to come in hot with the PK Thunder 2, not able to snap the ledge and lost the stock for it. Sweet T going right back to work and... Already put up 38% unanswered, 44% unanswered. But that back air, wow, that didn't kill. Ivysaur a bit thicker than I realized. Ooh, that could have been an up air for uh, that kid, but unfortunately going to miss it. Tries to go for the empty jump grab, and uh, there's the PK fire. It just like, even like that little bit of time, it still did like 15. Right. And you can see that kid being a little oh. tenant. Oh my god, Flare Blitz coming out. It's kind of a rogue Flare Blitz. The close range one, a good back air to close out that stock, and... That kid's trying to cause way right back into the game. Let's see if he gets some early percent going. You know, it's just a couple PK fires, right? <laughs> yeah, and then, oh, trying to go for that fine whip. Ooh, up air. That move is huge. It was, like, to the side. Bomb, taking, the up, taking the stock. It was, like, almost entirely to the side of, uh, that kid was rather almost entirely to the side of Sweet Tea, but uh, still going to get hit by that crazy up air. Drag down fair grab. Not quite a combo, but pretty close. Ooh, was going for a PK Thunder, too. To get that early kill to try to bring it back, but uh, you gotta play solid in these situations, man. Like, Ness is definitely a character that can play super solid, slowly get that damage, and then end up taking the victory. Gonna go for the down air? Yes, he He's is, and it. that is going to beat the stock to stock for Sweet Tea. That down air busted. Yeah, we see a lot of it. They just run off, drop zone down air. He stalls, it comes right back in. Yeah. If he misses it, he can always Vine Whip. Ivy! Pokemon change, and then come out with the Charizard to recover. Too. Ivory! <laughs> Ivory! I love Ivysaur's voice. It's funny, canonically, a she. I'm sure you remember that from Brawl. Ivysaur. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, so it's just, it's just funny. Just, I love how much Ivysaur just screams in this game. Ivory! Like, oh! <laughs> it's just so angry all the time. And, like, with the with all the pack, with all the punch that that character packs inside her, like, it makes sense that yeah. she's just screaming at the top of her lungs. It's kind of like a Serena Williams. It's just, like, you need to put all of your oomph into every single hit. And that's why it deals, like, 27 billion percent. I'm gonna go to Battlefield. That's an interesting pick. I feel like... Platforms are exceptionally good for Pokemon Trainer right. because of the extended combos, but uh, Ness not really getting it. platform combos too much, as, at least as far as I'm aware, which I think I'm fairly aware. But maybe maybe it's just a player preference thing. Like, some players are just really comfortable with platforms. Some just like the final destination with no platforms. Right? Yeah. Ooh, nice back air. Beautiful. That kid coming out swinging and saying, yeah, I like Battlefield. I'll let you know what's up, you Sam. Ooh, that yeah. time, very confident. Got the rare back air coming through the... Uh, coming through the PK Fire. And that's going to be something to look out for this set. You saw early on, uh, yep. Sweet Tea was able to navigate through the PK Fire and not, you know, mitigate some of the follow-ups that kid had. But Ooh. If, if he plays confident, gets the follow-ups, and puts him in a position to take the first stock with the lead. The yo-yo bringing it around town. That is so strong. Like, that doesn't actually so incredibly powerful. And yeah, big thing about PK Fire is if you get hit by the edge of it, if you don't try to do a defensive option, uh, you will get out pretty quickly. But yeah. if you, like, sidestep or if they catch a roll or, like, a movement option and your body kind of contorts back into the PK Fire, that is when you're going to take your big damage. Down throw up, you're not going to connect with that percent a little bit too high. So we're going to get now a combo for that kid. Drag down up air into up tilt. Got more follow-ups. Tries to go for PK Fire. Not going to land its mark. for a throw because up throw would not kill at that percent. Now we're going to go. Yep, of course, that neutral B. The flame breaths are so good for both Charizard and Bowser. That up wow, smash I can't believe huge. That <laughs> yeah, it's, it's strong. It's I mean, Charizard's a big, beefy boy, so like it makes sense. And here we go. He's got 
platforms to work off of that you were mentioning uh, that you mentioned early on. But Squirtle can extend so many combos off those platforms, carrying people up the top. Yeah, and right now just playing a uh, pretty structured neutral. I mean, that kick can just throw out a bunch of hitboxes when it comes to down air, back air, or rather like back air and air are going to be mostly the, the hitboxes you throw out. Try to get a sidestep free with that PK fire or like a dash bag, and that's not going to make its mark. But that nair, oh, actually going to send towards the stage, so not going to be the edge guard situation that Sweet T wanted, but still doing quite well. Yeah, got a very comfortable Ooh. lead, and he has, he's underneath Ivysaur, but Ivysaur doesn't care if that down air hits practically it's beneath the stage. Yeah, <laughs> it's so big. It's ridiculous, and now an offstage position. Not gonna hit its mark, that down smash, they're just gonna stall here, because you know Ness can obviously charge, or everyone can charge smash attacks for about three seconds. I've heard that Ness can actually charge for less time, which is uh, interesting, but that peak of thunder. Going to try to edge trap, doesn't hit it, but that back air, it's so, like, magnet back air is so good, you almost always have time if you're in the air with that magnet to get either a nair or a back air out, and it's so strong. And he's doing a good job uh, navigating the recovery situation, not letting Sweet Tea get those down air situations. Yeet. <laughs> Until, Basically, uh, all <laughs> I got to say, right? You got the back throw. And Sweet Tea with a little bit of a lead now. Yeah, trying to get the upper extensions, but uh, that back air going to stop it. Uh, actually hitting the edge of the platform there on that neutral air, so going to pop out of that nair. And Pika Thunder to try to edge trap. Doesn't have a jump, does Sweet Tea. But always, you can't always switch to that Charizard and get a second jump. So, ooh, I like the drag down. Ooh, the down smash getting stuffed out by the uh, get-up attack. Invincible get-up attack. Yeah. yeah. Their flamethrower does so much damage. But the back throw going to kill off the top. He yeet, I yeet. Both, both back throws, Ivysaur and Ness is so, so strong. Yeah, Ness Ooh. is that back throw since uh, 1999. Yeah. The signature classic. Of course. Ooh, avoiding the, uh, the water gun. That was actually really good. Going to switch out of that combo. I feel like I want that kid to, like, start you know, baiting those switches and getting punished, because I feel like he's aware, like, every time when it's going to happen. Yeah, just kind of plays a little passive, uh, a little afraid to press his advantage in that situation. And again, no jump on uh, this Ivysaur, but, of course, the range ridiculous on that uh, PK Thunder. Oh, the Flare Blitz almost armored through the PK Thunder. And yeah, that kid carried, you know, he was he had, like, a 70% deficit and turned it into a lead with that edge guard situation. So much damage, so crucial in this last stock of the game. And I think Sweetie going to rock it out with Charizard being the heaviest of all of Pokemon Trainer's characters, plus the strongest, or, well, Ivysaur is pretty beefy. Like, Ivysaur hits really hard. What a what? beautiful air dodge. What the <laughs> hell? Holy crap. That got through yeah, all of it. That went through all the flame throwers. I was like, what? <laughs> and he's under this, it's a precarious recovery. He's able to bounce off and get back, and he's right back in business. I love that. I love the bounce off. I think it's so cool. It's broken because I hate Ness, but that up smash almost fully charged is going to do so much damage because the thing is, like, the ridiculous thing is all the up smashes or all the smash attacks that you seem like to be the most ridiculous are, like, extended range. Like, Snick's up smash, you have Olimar smash attacks not get stronger. Ness's holds that hitbox out there that you have to deal with, and if you get hit by it, it then crumbles into a beefed up or <laughs> yeah. stronger smash attack, which is ridiculous, and that's why you see characters dying at, like, 65 to 80 offstage from that down smash. Gonna take game two, and unfortunately, no DSR, so I'm uh, gonna run it back to game one, which is Pokemon Stadium 2. Pokemon Trainer Ness, no changes in characters. They're locked in. And we got a pretty even match coming into game three. Yeah, that, was, that edge guarding sequence again, yeah. like, so I think it hit, hit Sweet Tea at like 20 and yeah. then went to all the way to like 100. So, it's what you got to do against this tra against the trainer. Like, you have to keep her in disadvantage. And true to what you said, he, uh, he pressed his advantage when he had it, and that was kind of pivotal in getting him that lead. Let's see if he's able to carry that momentum into this game. Or if Sweet Tea's able to right the ship and keep it going. Ooh. Thought that uh, that kid was going to land on the platform, so went for a dash grab. Not going to get it, but again, 49%. Not going to be too bad. Ooh, that water gun, so crucial. Down air. Oh, yeah, I think trouble. that's it. Yeah, unfortunate. Yeah. So zero to death, technically, for uh, Sweet Tea. And, this, you know, that, that water gun messes with people's spacing. It's not so really good. sure what's happening. And it, even, it sent them so far, even with no charge. Right. Like, that's the ridiculous part. Especially against the nest that has to hit themselves and have yeah. a little more skill into that recovery then some of the free recoveries that you see from, from the characters. Yeah. It's always a tough time. And let's see if that kid's able to dig deep in and get right back into it. Ooh, I thought actually Sweet Tea was going to get uh, pineapple. Oh, that side B is such a good move. I kind of hate how good that side B is. But you can't punish it on shield. It's just hard. Ooh, gets the read forward oh, smash. That's going to be the stock. What wow. a comeback for that kid. Only 79% down considering the zero to death. We'll take those. Down throw. Up B, going to miss. Yeah, and yeah uh, Sweet Tea trying to come back immediately with the Revenge Invincible grab to Vine Whip confirm. Not quite able to get it, so he's going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. 
And down air. Yeah, I was like, the old fashioned <laughs> way with Ivysaur <laughs> down air. Down air. <laughs> or an up air. Ooh, overextended on that combo. That kid only got 19% before he died, so now gonna have to have quite the comeback. No double jump on Sweet Tea. Okay, never mind. Doesn't capitalize on it enough. Back air, forward air. Push him off stage. Beautiful. And he saved his double jump and caught Sweet Tea off guard. Battled his way back on stage with it. Let's see if he's able to make something of it. They're playing neutral. And you see Sweet Tea going between that. Razor Leaf wall on the back air wall. Yeah, both options so, so strong. I love that approaching neutral air. Tried to, I think went for a, a drop off down air, but missed it. And this is no invincibility on Sweet Tea, but not going to worry about it. Yeah, he's, he's going out for the big hits. You can tell that kid realizes Ooh. the the moment that he's got to pick up a kill here pretty quickly or he's going to be in quite a bit of trouble. Yeah, obviously approaching that percent, especially considering how strong uh, Ivysaur's up E and uh, up air are. But uh, PK Thunder, yeah, gonna go for that just landing downer. So, so good. Covers so many options. Knock him off stage. Forward smash. Oh, goes for the bullet scene. Interesting. Yeah, that kid just looking a little tentative in those situations where if he was confident with an up air, might have been able to bring the stock uh, to a close. But Ooh. there's a back throw. Yeah, it goes for that dash grab. Gets back thrown of his own. 